Hello guys, it's Thomas, and I'm back with episode 3 of Smith Boys Gaming Multiplayer. And well, between this episode and the last one, I did a lot. Now, originally this was actually going to be episode 5, but I decided against that because I had about 4 hours of footage to edit, so I said, screw, screw it, I'm just going to put a little bit of highlights in there. So some of the things I did is, I went to the moon. I failed to get back from the moon. I think I put... One of these satellites in orbit, I don't remember which one it was. Maybe all three, I really don't remember. And I failed many times at trying to land on the little island to actually get something that works there. Because the previous one that I did, I think it was in episode two, I really don't know. I'm so confused at this point. Um, lost half of its solar panels in a wreck. And then the second version just killed the game. I got a I got the NAN for everything. <laughs> she killed everything. So, because I don't want to do all of that all over again, don't want to edit through all of that, we're just going to pretend I magically got to where I am now. I also unlocked a new node, upgraded launch pad and space scent, and the VAB. Um, if I remember, remember correctly, I got electronics and stability. And um, I'll, I think, yeah, I think that's it. And I actually have enough science now to unlock one of these big nodes. Huh. I actually don't know what to get. I might go for the science. Because that'll give me, that'll let me get more. Yeah, it looks like the best choice that I could have made. So let's build a rocket to actually get on the moon and come back successfully. Maybe even with a Kerbal, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to accept these two contracts. Both of which are moon related. Science around the moon, and planting a flag on the moon. So yeah, hopefully I'll get both of those. Okay, so I built this little rocket. Well, it's not exactly that little, but hopefully it'll get us to the moon. Okay, so I have a crazy idea, but it's crazy enough it might work. Because we're stuck kind of on the mud and sideways, and this thing doesn't have enough torque to pull itself back up, because it has almost none. If I go any faster than 9 meters per second, well, it kind of explodes, and the engine is pointing downward, so that surely doesn't help. But, luckily for us, we're right next to a crater. So I think that's our best bet for getting off this planet, well, off this moon. Because if I can just give myself enough air there, I will have enough time to turn it up and hopefully actually have us go upward. Because you know that's what you kind of use. That's what you usually want to do with a rocket. If I'm not careful here, I will explode. Go the other way. Okay, we're almost over the lip of the crater. It's a really weird controlling it too, because it's you know. 
very... It doesn't... It's not like... Uh, I'd say it's not stable, except it should be. So I, it just doesn't want to point where I want it to point. It's kind of trying to pull itself away. There we got it. You're a quick, quick save. I hope we have enough fuel to get back. Ooh, barely. <laughs> this is so close. Okay, I'm gonna quick save now because I still have enough Delta V. I think I have like 200 meters per second of Delta V on the Kerbal himself. And I could decouple, but I'm gonna wait later for that. Ah, the science break exploded. Well, hopefully we'll get plenty of other science. Well, that's a lot of science. Though if I remember, the science bay was um, either 75 or 100 science. But still, that's a lot of science. 7 XP. Good. And we got that, which gives us even more money. So we can unlock a whole bunch of nodes now. We can unlock the tiny, tiny rocketry. We can unlock, well, bigger staging. Actual aerodynamics, but that's not very useful to be completely honest. More stuffs. Or bigger stability. Huh. I want to say advanced electronics would be very useful. I don't only need to unlock that and that. This actually, actually, this would be very useful. Um, so would this, but then I can only unlock one other node. Because it's docking ports. Hmm. I'm really torn. I think I'm going to go with these big rockets. Because that'll help me get the bigger stuffs into orbit with less parts. And landing legs and landing gear. So now that I've unlocked all that, probably going to go to Menmesser somewhere for more science. Hopefully it won't explode this time. Okay, so I decided against going to Menmes on a manned mission and landing, so I'm just going to fly inside of its sphere of influence, because I got a contract that is just fly by Menmes. So I'm going to go do that start the time lapse.
Okay, guys, so I got a lot of science, and I completed both of my missions, even though one of them got wiped, so I don't know why that. And I also am going to unlock a whole bunch of stuff, and actually I'm going to go back, because I don't want to forget this, I'm going to upgrade this. So I can actually do good stuff. So what should I up upgrade? I almost said upload. No, I'm going to upload this video. Um, I want to do that. I need to upgrade the research center, which actually is not a bad thing. So let's do that. Now we're a little low on funds, but we have plenty. Um, so I can do that. Mostly just because I want the advanced electronics. Actually, I don't even need that, so I'm going to do that right now. Because that gets the new solar panels, which is the biggest good thing. Advanced fuels would be nice. Hmm. Gonna do that because that allows for really small probes. And it, and advanced construction allows for really good stuff. Hmm, I'm torn between. Eh, I think I'm gonna do aerodynamics. So next I'm probably going to get that, and then finally that. But until then, in the next episode, this is Thomas. So thank you for watching. Leave a like or a favorite, and well, adios.